Hi, everyone. This meeting is now being recorded, and my name is Angela Mills, and I work for the town of Amherst. Um, we are recording this meeting, and it will be uploaded to the town of Amherst YouTube channel by our IT department. Um, at this time, I would like to note for everyone that we do not have a quorum, and there is one attendee in the attendee room. So thank you for this wonderful attendee, Shoshana King, in the attendee room. I am going to ask if anyone would like to take over the role of host for the meeting. I can do it. Excellent. Okay. I think I'm Angela, I, yeah. Angela, do you mind making it so I can also share a screen because I'd like to go over the call to artists and the application with everybody tonight? Sure, no problem. So Jim, do okay. you know how to make Gabriella co-host? Uh, frankly, I don't think oh, so. Sorry. I'm going to I'm going to reclaim the host and make Gabriella co-host. Good. And then um, I will make Jim the host now. All right. So Gabrielle, our wonderful executive director of the bid is here. And so just so everyone's aware, since we don't have a quorum of the group, it can be an informational session, but no substantive voting can take place. So if, if um, Dar shows up, will it? Uh, Will it be then? Yep. Okay. Uh, you'll have. I, do we have, have five? Four. Yeah. No, you'll you'll have four because Gabrielle's not a member of your group, yeah. so you you nope. need five in order to reach quorum. Okay. Yeah. No. Okay. Thanks. Oh, so we we won't have one tonight then because Robert can't come. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. So have a great meeting, everyone, and Gabrielle. Thanks for being with us, and um, and thanks everyone for your hard work. And I love the new display in town hall. So thanks for the guest artists this, this month. Thank you, Mikey. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, um, just a on footnote on the discussion point. Legally, technically, we can discuss because there's only three of us. We're not a quorum. But the problem is that there, um, the law. There's a series. They call it seriatim. Forums where, like, I I discuss it with Laurie. Laurie discusses it with Mikey. Mikey goes off and discusses it with two more people. Boom! You just violated open meeting law. Therefore, a great deal of discretion is a really good idea. Uh, I'm not uh, minute approval. We can't do because we don't have a quorum. Chair report because we don't have a chair. Uh, poetic dialogue. Status of repairs. Um, is Shoshana in the waiting room or is she here? Can she? Yeah. Oh, oh, she raised should, her hand. We should bring her in. We can get her in. Um, uh oh, invite. How do I do that? I'm, I haven't. You you go to um you click on participants and then she'll show Sorry. up in your waiting room yeah. and you can let her in. She's in the waiting room. I'm gonna bring her to a panelist if that's okay with everybody. If you can yeah. do it, great. She should be popping up. There you go. There she goes. How did you do that? Just for my future reference. Um, so if you look at the bottom of your screen, you'll see a participants. Yes. Little, okay. So you click on that. And then on the right hand of your screen, you'll see panelists and participants. She was, I'm sorry, you'll see panelists and attendees. And if she was still an attendees, you'd see three little dots by her name. You click on that and then you move her to panelists. And if Got you it. don't want somebody to be a panelist, um, but you just want to allow them to speak, you can just say allow to speak. So it's, Okay, it's, thank you. Yeah. So Shoshana, you're on, honey. Okay, hi, gang. Hello. Hi, Shoshana. Um, I talked to Kamal, and he said that he would be willing to put uh, Robert Frost back for like $500. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Time out. I forgot. Is somebody taking minutes? Because I can't, I don't think I can manage to preside and take minutes at the same time. This is being recorded. So you might, and because you're not an actual, you're just doing discussion. I don't think that you have to take minutes. No, we don't have to, but it could be, I mean, okay. do we want to? I, I just think it's handy because she's about to say important things that I want to remember. <laughs> um, let's see. What do you guys yeah, if someone could just jot down that Kamal will do it for 500, but he'd like to do okay. it in the so sooner would be better than later. And he'd like, uh, he'd like to do it when? 
He'd like to do it this spring, like as soon as, like soon, I guess. We need to get that on next meeting's agenda. Hopefully we'll have a quorum. And, and do you, have you given all of his contact information over to? To anyone? Teresa. To um, Teresa. We keep on getting um, sidetracked. Like we, we've had like the first meeting that we were supposed to have, I wound up being sick for, and then the second one, she had to go down to Florida. So one of these days we're going to have a meeting and I'll give her Kamal's contact information then and um, give her like the orientation of, you know, the mailbox and all that kind of stuff. Who are you giving that to? What's that? Who are you giving it to? Uh, Terry. I wrote it down. I, I, I recommend I, make sure that somebody else I would recommend has a copy of it because in case we run into this problem again and maybe Terry can't come. Okay. So we, because we certainly don't want to put it off any uh, another month if we can possibly avoid it, I wouldn't think. Yeah, it would be good to get it done sooner than later. Um, and there's money in the till for it. Okay, so, so I see a chat. A A M I L. Oh, good. Thanks. It, it's Camille. It's yeah, Camille. thank you. Camille Peters. And that's his email. Yep. Okay. Anything else on that? Okay, we move right along to Town Hall Gallery update. Uh, Stephanie Oates' uh, exhibit is in, and I went there today and put the prices under e everything in with photo text paper. Great. So it's all ready to go and up. Okay. Anything else on that subject? Making nope. No. Nope? Well, I'll, I'll bring this stuff up at a regular meeting. Don't worry. Oh. Uh, okay. Yeah, because okay. we can't talk about it now anyway. It won't do us any good. Nope. <laughs> No. Nope. All right. So um, the next one, what was I on town hall gallery? So now we're making making it public update. That would be Gabby. Hi, how is everybody? Frustrated. Um, <laughs> I, I, I understand that on many levels. <laughs> I'm going to share my screen with everybody. Uh, uh, um, well, I cleaned up a little bit. Um, I spent another 45 minutes today with our representative at NIFA, and um, these were some of the requests that you you had made as a commission. And I just I think I've put everything in um, the public grant that you had requested, and we have also done the call for artists. And um, I understand you can't vote, but I, I believe that because we did what you requested at the last meeting, we're not looking for a vote. Um, I was just hoping to converse with everybody, make sure that everybody was feeling good about this. Um, today was the deadline to put this out in a press release. Our yeah. press release is written. Um, it's all with Brianna Sundrin at the town of Amherst. We're ready to go. Um, and we're going to let this go first thing in the morning. I just wanted to have a conversation with everybody on this commission just to make sure that we were all in the right place and the, you know, the right time, et cetera. Yeah, well, I think it's worth doing because nobody here objects to anything. That's not a vote quite. Nope. But. I, I think this was the list from Terry of things that you would like, that you wanted sort of looked at, and we did. Um, and then again, went over it again with NIFA because we need we need their buy-in more than any of our buy-ins. Um, and they have looked everything over with another fine tooth. Their only request is that when we get the grant agreement ready, it is accurate and, and consistent with um, the, the call to artists and the application, which I think that we'll be able to pull together and do quite nicely. So, right, so let's just look through it and let's see if anybody, anything leaps out at anybody because that's the best we can do, because we can't vote. But okay. if we see something that we know is an issue, we can flag it. Would you like to start where we are, which is the call to artists, and I can just scroll down slowly? Sure. Is that Let's okay? That. All right. 
why don't you all read and then tell me, just give a nod of a head. I'll, I'll keep an eye on you guys when you'd like me to scroll. I have a question. Okay. Yes. Um, in the APAC mission, to it says it says to that end, APAC seeks artwork that recognizes the experience and culture of Black, Indigenous, people of color. I guess, huh? I didn't realize that that was part of. I I knew that we had that in there, but I didn't realize it was part of our mission and core values, which we haven't gone into our strategic plan yet. But I'm I'm not. I don't mind leaving it there. Does anyone else have any thoughts? I don't think there'd be any loss if the two that end were taken out of there and just postponed that. What do you think, Gabby? My concern about Gabby? taking, I, I, I want to make it clear that I did not write this. Maureen Pollock wrote this when she was still with the town. Um, my concern about taking that out is that almost all the wording in the call for artists and the application is for BIPOC artists. And I think that the statement that Maureen put there was to make it clear why this is a BIPOC artist initiative, um, because there will be questions of why this is not um, inclusive to all. Um, but oh. it is a very specific BIPOC um, camp, uh, uh, grant. My understanding was that Maureen didn't put it in there. Um, oh, okay. I, I don't know who did. Yeah, it got put in there because we decided that for this particular public art commission, we wanted to narrow it to that because we felt there was a okay. need in the community for this um, focus um, at this particular time. And we were asked by one of the commissions um, of the town to, to, to please do that. And so we decided we, we would do it do it because that's what we were being requested, but it isn't actually, as far as I know, on the website, it's not a part of our core mission. Am what I correct? Put to that end on this occasion, APAC seeks artwork. Does that solve the problem? I think I would suggest just if you don't feel comfortable, Lori, and I'm sorry, I don't, I, I'm, as everybody knows, I came very late to this game, so I don't know who wrote what. Um, we so all we did just, too, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> um, if you'd like, I can just remove to that end the APAC, and you don't really have to make that statement because the, the rest of this document sort of makes a statement. I kind of like that statement, actually. So I'm not suggesting, if I suggest, just let me explain myself a little bit. I generate options trying to find one that everybody likes. It doesn't mean I want to do it necessarily. It means I'm trying to find a solution to a problem. Let's see, um, I mean, I'm not going to jump up and down if you put it in, in the way it is, but I kind of think it does imply that that's our mission statement, which it's not. I'm just looking on the town and for our mission statement where it is now, because this is something we have scheduled to really review as all meant most of us are new and we came on to this and um, um wanted to really rethink you know the what the mission is so we have not rewritten it or voted on anything but let me look and see there's the cultural amherst i think it ties down like a like a mission statement for you know the art commission in its life in its entirety it's for this project is the impression i get from it what? although the one problem i always had with oh, the wording, I, know what to do. I worry about you know like telling a like for instance a black artist that like you know, pigeonholing them into doing artwork that like feels black, you know, that's, that was one concern I had with it, but um, it's more substantive. Yeah, that's not what the, um, the other committee that asked us to do this wanted. By the way, it, I might, have, it, it might help to read, reread the goals and, and sort of the vision of um, this. 
Yeah, I think if we just go back up a little bit to the what, where I was asking, I think the APAC mission and core values should be what it is on the website. And, um, you know, I, I think I think taking that last sentence off because it does say it can, you know, it promotes cultural diversity and an improved quality of life. And then this particular um, call is specifically for uh, BIPOC. Okay. So the commission um, overview statement is fosters a greater community awareness of the interaction with public art and through public art promotes cultural diversity and an improved quality of life for Amherst citizens. Which is in there. You know, if you put a, so if you were to put a paragraph when you finish stating what it was in our published mission statement, it no longer applies that what follows is part of the mission statement. So that's another solution. Let's put a paragraph right there. Make, let me make it a new paragraph. And, and what would you like it to say? Same thing, just I'm trying to separate it from the mission statement and see if people are comfortable that that no longer implies that that's part of our mission statement. That was what I heard the objection as being. That, does that look good to everybody? Laurie, you look hesitant. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. <laughs> okay, um, good. It's, that, it's much better. Yeah, to that end. Uh, yeah, that's I'm, I'm okay with that. All right. Well, that's not a vote. That's only expression of personal opinion. I hesitate to remind everyone. Okay, let's keep going. Go down to project details. Um, I had no problem with it last time we met of the not feature commercial or religious content, but one of our other commissioners um, did. I so I, don't, and I think that was one of the ones we talked about. Could we, could it, she, she asked if it could be taken out and um, Terry said she would check with the funding, you know. That was fine with Nisa. I think I just forgot to take that one out. Yeah, I think okay. that could create uh, some problems I don't want to have to deal with. Okay, I'm good. That last sentence, one time only can, um, a performance artists may activate an installation with performance, but performance cannot be the whole project, projects that require access to electricity or water. Wait a minute. It says that already, so isn't it? I don't know what that after semicolon even says. Yeah, maybe that's that's supposed to end there. Sorry, but performance cannot okay. be the whole project. Okay. That's what that's supposed to be. One time events may may activate an installation with performance. Uh, with okay, I guess it's. I'm not going to nitpick. So there's a um, it says uh, one time events performances artists, and it's in parentheses one part of it, but the other part is not. Oops. So just take that off. Yeah. Thanks. Couldn't that be a new sentence? I mean, 
never mind. I think that I'm not forget it. This is not a grammar contest. Um, I'm into the next uh, paragraph of this election committee, which is back up there. Um, there was some discussion at our last meeting of um, how much representation we needed from the town. And I think Terry was going to check into that because I forget some someone was counting how many town people that added up to and it was quite a few. Um, so the one thing that the NIFA, our contact at NIFA said is that this really is, um, this has got to be a town of Amherst um, project and a town of Amherst grants because this whole project was about taking a town employee and giving them the training um, to do this and to go forth with that training and to understand now that we've lost the two people who did the training, um, they're, they're trying to work with us and, and make this possible because the grant is there and the money's there but they really need it to come from a town-centered um, jury selection because that's what the whole program was about, was teaching towns about public art and how to activate them. Oh. So well, they're, um, they're, they're, I mean, little... I'm, I'm actually, uh, I, there were a lot of different, uh, very detailed, um, detailed look at this lot the last time we met. And this was one of the things that was raised I'm actually not personally have an, I don't personally have an issue with this, but it, I am bringing it up because I'm remembering all the things we talked about last time. Um, just voicing that was one of the things that was brought up that there was, I think, um, one, two, three, four, five, six town six or seven town staff people and one, two, three, four. No, not even four. Actually it was eight, eight and three. I don't care. I'm I, not, I don't care. Sorry. I don't mean that. I just don't, okay. I don't, it's not really. I, I, you're not, I do kind of understand what they're saying because it's people who work for the town who are employed by the town. And so we have, you know, eight people, eight town employees voting in the jury with, you know, a couple of representatives from our commission and from the town. But what is it? Does anyone else have anything to say or what? My my biggest concern about this list is getting all of these people together because these are very right. stressed and very overworked individuals with yeah. very small. Um, yeah. I mean, the reason why we're all in this position is because the town couldn't handle this, you know, program. So um, because they're staffing right now, so um, it, it's it's tough. It's a it's a lot to ask, especially if a lot of applications come in. This right. is not going to be a small task at all, and really needs to be looked at because. When yeah. an individual artist is chosen, they are there's going to be a community that wants to know exactly why other people were not chosen. Right. Hey, Shona, yeah. please feel free to speak up anytime you want. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it does seem like getting all those people into one room at one time is going to be a tricky, a tricky task. But I do like the fact that there's somebody from the um, disability. I, see. I think it's very important to have someone from disability, um, but I also wonder if we won't be going, I wonder if we could bring this to their group, the DAAC meeting. Um, I, yeah, I don't, I mean, do we bring the semifinalists to that meeting to have them weigh in on that so that we call it down a little bit? Same thing with DRB. Um, yeah, that's a good could, idea. Could we have, could we have like a, with fight with, with, some language that says rather than they're actually the, the jury on the jury that they are mm -hmm. you know that they're going to sort of sign off or have some say but that they're not actually voting on the jury because otherwise they're going to have to attend whatever meetings we have where we're we're trying to narrow it down they're going to have to be at every meeting yeah i like it with that and consultants that really like makes it so that there's some wiggle room there 
to, to make it a little more nimble when the time comes to actually like convene this jury. Maybe the jury should be for the finalists and not for the first part of it. So maybe um, just- wait, wait. Uh, the, Oh, sorry, go ahead. I, I'm just thinking that maybe the um, Public Arts Commission and um, Gabby can do the first part and then we could whittle that down. And then when it comes to the finalists, then we do it through um, the town. Because- Mikey, I'm gonna suggest just because I've been in the firing line on some other things, um, you, you, we're gonna want a little bit more outside opinion on this than just the Public Art Commission and myself. Um, yeah. okay. And by that, I mean, we're gonna want some diversity um, sure. on our on our group. So what I would recommend is two members of the public and two members of town staff. So we're whittling, whittling it down to two members on the actual That's jury. Cool. Yep. Um, yep. And that can be DPW office. I mean, I really think we want someone from DEI and we want someone from press on this. Um, and then we probably want to bring this to the DAAC and the DRB once we have finalists. But Correct. I really, um, I don't know who else is on this committee and I don't know how they self-identify, but I think we need to be careful that it's not going to be just a self-identified white cisgendered group. Oh, 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 don't worry. I, was about I, to I say fully the get exact it. exact same thing. Yeah. And, right, and right, it right. is, it is at the moment, that is what the group is. So, okay. Right, right, could, right. Could well, you say a representative from the town um, can be from blah, blah, blah in consultation with? Yes. Right. But I think that you're absolutely right, Gabby, that we have to have, even in the um, the small group, to do all of the, uh, uh, everything that comes in, uh, at least one or two people from the DEI. Yes. Beginning. And I think what we can do here um, is what we'll do is we'll put town staff and representatives from the town staff can be from, so we're looking for two people from that right. area then with additional representation, AKA will attend the meeting of the DAACC and the DRB with the finalists right. and let them just make comments. And um, I think mainly you want the DAAC to comment on this piece of art more than right. the DRB because art is in the eye of the beholder as we know, and right. we're not really looking for um, a permanent recommendation from the DRB, but we'd love to show it to them because they're a great group. How does right. that sound everybody? Yes. I like okay. that. More, more minority representation, the better, in my opinion. Right. Yeah. And that, that, that makes me very nervous. Um, so I do want to make sure that we right. have um, some diversity on this panel. Right, right. I and do I am happy to reach out to Earl um, from Cress, and I'm happy to reach out to Pamela and Jennifer from DEI. Um, mm -hmm. And also, I think that when we're looking for our two members of the public, we should be looking for BIPOC members of our community. So, um, and I think that we could probably have the university and the college give us maybe a head of the art department from each, which would be lovely. Okay. Or Ancestral Bridges, somebody from yes, Ancestral That would Bridges. be great too. We could bring Anika on um, or one right. of her board members. Yep. Yeah, I would recommend um, maybe reaching out to um, Demetria Shabazz because she does a lot with art and um and race re race relations i'm i'm not taking notes on all of this okay <laughs> okay i'm not because i we're, we're, we're not approving them so yeah and it is a recorded meeting so if anybody needs to okay. go back and remember right. what we said it's easy to get so i mean when we get to the point where we're coming up with these names and we will have to take time to figure out the jury and who's on it. And so we have a lot of names being added and you know, I, I would add Shirley Jackson Whitaker to the list. So I think there are community members that we can consider and right. who would be able uh, to, you know, who who's available. I, I love the idea of someone from one of the universities. That's great. So I, I don't know who those people are, but that'd be great. We, to we can do some involved. outreach. We, yeah. we can do some great outreach over while this is out. We can 
get a really great yeah. panel together. And I think it would be great to have some artists that are not going to be putting a piece in um, to this. But I, I think that between the college and the university, we have a ton of opportunity. And Dr. Whitaker sits on the Ancestral Bridges um, Juneteenth Commission. So she'd be an amazing addition, as you said. So I think that's not going to be hard. The hard part is, is that when we just start and say like, oh, here's a great group, we're just not representing the entire community. So we just have to be careful there. Yeah, I agree. Okay. All right. So we fixed we we fixed that to the best of our ability. May I move down a bit? Yeah. Please do. You. So the timeline is is sort of set in stone by NIFA. So we kind of see what we have to you know do. We get a couple of couple of little whiles off while artists put their presentations in, but then we will. Who did we lose? We lost someone. Um, I think we lost Mikey. Yeah, can you please email me this document that we're, um, because even though it's not really a meeting, if it were a meeting, I would need everything that was presented. Sure. Um, uh, Jim, do you are you do you have a Google email? No, I don't have a Google email. Okay, then I can't do that. I will I will download it and email it to you. What is your email address? Uh, James Dot Barnhill. Oh, Cal use this one, California1969 at Comcast.net. Sorry, California1969 at Comcast.net. Okay. All right. I will get that to you tomorrow. Thanks. Okay. Uh, ready for artist criteria? Better. Mm hmm. Let's see. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I see one thing that has to be fixed. Do we lose? Oh, we, we uh, is Mikey. Does she try to get back in? Yeah, where's and then, Mikey? And I don't know if she's trying to get back in or not, but I know she's gone. Okay, well, we've got the not feature commercial or religious content to take out. Mikey, if you're trying to get back in, give me a ring or something. Text me. Where is that? Oh, we already did, right? It's um, it's there again. It's um, under qualifications. It's about Sorry, everybody five down. Yeah. Can mention? Not it's letters, so it catches the eye. I'm wondering if something didn't save because we went through and did all this really early today. Oh, oh, that stinks. I know. I have a, a well, if yeah, it's on. Well, Google's been like giving me a lot of hard times about a lot of stuff, like putting documents in a, in other accounts that I'm not even like supposed Ouch. to be in, or that that's been bad. And then it's like not sending my emails. It's been yeah, it's very strange. Um, okay. there's a my lawyer's uh, heart is beating rapidly because you have something. <laughs> oh, there she is. It says, uh. Unreadable, incomplete applications will not be accepted. All right, the application is complete, but it's unreadable. You have to accept it. Um, all of our applications, Jim, are online. So everything is being done through this application process. So I think we're going to be able to read everything. Um, if there is a language barrier um, that's a little bit difficult for us, we'll have to speak to the town lawyer and make sure that we can use Google Translate. All you got to do is put an or between unreadable and incomplete, and you got it nailed. Okay. It's up there under application. There. There. There we go. See, now either one works, because that's what you want. Great. Mikey's back. We'll give a couple more seconds on this one so she can weigh in. Here you go, Mikey. All right. My computer's uh, have going off and on, so something's okay. wrong with the Wi-Fi at our house. Hold on.
Okay, I don't have any problems with it. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry. I don't remember what the what the problem was last time with the references. I don't have a problem with it. I don't know if anyone remembers. I, don't. I think it please list contact information of two references or similar work. Oh, that similar. Is on, That's what um, it was. That is on the application. Would you like it here as well? No, I, I, I don't remember what the I'm not remembering what the objection was. I, I know that on the application we changed. I, I was trying to read it. Yeah, I think uh, we were worried that it was going to scare off people who didn't have a lot of um, experience. Right. Where is the possibly offensive clause? Two references. Right here? Two, two, references, two references on similar projects. Required. I don't really well, know just what it means. Take out the required. Option. I don't know what it means. Two references on similar. I don't know what that means. Well, I think you you wanted to change it to please please list contact information um, for two references. So it's a little bit kinder. Mm -hmm. um, maybe not as frightening as the word references. Um, so let's put that in and see how you feel you about mean that. For, you mean regarding similar work, right? Is that what for is supposed to mean? Two references who are familiar with similar work that you have done? Is that the thought? Does that read better, Jim? Yeah, I don't you know, know. I, I I think I, I kind of like what Jim's saying about who are familiar with your work. Um, the only problem is I, I think I didn't have such an issue with this, but someone else did. Um, they were concerned that if it's an artist's first time um, applying, uh, yeah. to creating a work for this particular um, place and they've never really you know, it's very different from other work they've done. So the idea of getting references for similar work would take them out of the running. Yeah, you're right. If I could I, vote, I would vote against it. But. That's what was brought up. So I wonder right. if if rather than similar work, it could be please, con you know, list contact information for two references who are familiar to me, it would be more familiar with your work. Yep, I, I, I don't agree. Think it, I don't think it has to be similar. Yeah, that's better. That's a good point. Okay, Plus, you know, what's, what does similar mean? That's always a question, too. I guess we could leave it up to the interpretation of the appliqué or appliqué, right. whatever the word would be, <laughs> the person applied. Applicants, there it is. Applicant, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think that's good. Yep. All right. Okay. So that resume or CV, does that mean it's optional? You don't have to submit a CV or a resume? Okay, fine. That's yeah. what it says. I'm also getting a little frustrated with periods and not periods. Yes, trying to be consistent on it all is a if you yeah, care, always no a always challenge. Big. It's that's why it's really nice to always have someone else looking, you know, at it. I don't know if you care, but there's no period in front of J. There shouldn't be a period in front of JPEG, but I don't care if you leave it in there. It's on the second line under work samples. Thank you. Yeah, there, there, there. PDF. Forward. It's in the middle of the page. There isn't one in front of PDF either that was there. Mm -hmm. There we no, go. It shouldn't be. That's if it's an image. That's where that came from.
I will say if that's the most important thing I've done all day, I had a really bad day. <laughs> it's only Monday, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> you have all week. And I'm um, uh, gonna go back up and be picky. I'm now I'm being a little bit picky. If you go back up just a little bit. Um the the bolded um a detailed project plan is not necessary at this stage. Please see the artist description criteria above for details on what the review committee will be looking for in the proposal or in the application as instead of ending with four. But I don't care. I mean, I'm also Okay, if you feel pressure that it's not necessary. It's just it's sort of ending a sentence with four. Or is, what, is, what is the man? What is the man said? That is something with, with, up with which I will not put. There we go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and then it's just the email and mailing address. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. So thankful for all the work you're doing on this because I it it's not something I think we could have continued on with without you. So thank you very much, Gabrielle. Yeah, thank thank you. you. And then yeah. look, when when there's ten thousand dollars of free money to get into the hands of an artist, I'm all in. We'll make sure that we get this money to them. Right. So okay, I'm so I'm gonna I'm gonna take a minute. I'm just gonna bring us the application, and I just want to run down this um, as well. Make sure you all feel good about this, because Lord knows I could have missed something. All right. Well, while you're doing that, I'm gonna just remind everybody: we can't vote, we can't make decisions, right. and we cannot communicate. We should not be communicating substance with the other committee members because we're running to a, a, a Siri out of quorum problem like that. So if there's any questions the other people ask who are present on the committee, I suggest you refer them to Gabby or Shona, whom they can talk to. Okay. Actually, not okay. Shona. Now it has to be to Terry. Right? She's not on the committee, is she? T Terry, who's our chair of our commission, Terry Holt. No, my point is you can talk to somebody who's not on the committee who's in this meeting, but not to the people who are in the committee. Would be. If somebody on the committee wants to discuss what happened in the committee, they're better off doing it with somebody who's not on the committee because you oh, don't. Oh, OK. I'm, I wasn't understanding. You know I mean? because I, I I'm worried it, about yeah. I'm worried about getting a committee by steps, a quorum by steps with people who are not here. And that would be gotcha. a violation. In other words, we won't be discussing this, <laughs> any of us. Not, not in a private meeting. We have to have a public meeting, then we can do it. OK. OK. OK, and then it's pretty first name, last name, email, phone number. Um, I'm applying as a primary, so we're just looking for that primary person, but that they can go from there. Um, and then all artists can be listed underneath that one if there's more than one. Um, again, we just re uh, do the quick quick mission of this. Um, very simple, yes and no here. Please check all that apply. Um, these are based just so everybody knows on um, the request from Pamela Nolan Young, um, the D E to I director. This is how they want to see them put okay. out. Because that's um, that's a potential controversial situation. What this is? is this is this is directly from DEI. Okay, good. Okay. Um, artist qualifications. I'll let you all take a minute. Jim got me all over this period before the PDF. Excuse me. Since there's not a quorum, I'll be right back. <laughs> um there's where they can show their website or online i'm literally turning my computer to show you like an idiot <laughs> <laughs> um, a way to upload some images uh the contact information familiar with your work so we already took that and changed it from the last um and then reiterating the proposal that we've looked at and i just want to make sure that we took out we did this is we did take out anything commercial or religious from here mm -hmm. ah, where'd it go 
Um, and then of course, uh, the criteria um, remains. Ah, this was supposed to be removed, um, which I did. And again, I'm not sure what's that. I know for a fact I remember that. Um, there's no relevance to the site. That was when there were two sites and why it would be better at the other site. So I've, I've removed that completely. Um, and of course, reiterating that priorities are local BIPOC artists um, who call or called at one point Amherst their home um, for them to give us their concept and upload their initial design. I think I understand why there's the dot be before JPEG or PDF. Why? I think it's because you're used to having this. Uh, this is negative number 1056 dot JPEG. Exactly. You're right. I think because everything's a dot JPEG or a dot yeah. whatever, you know, doc, whatever. So that's why they put the dot in. So it, it's, I think it's fine. It's you, so picky. I don't really care. I, I doesn't. Yeah. But I don't think it, it's, you know, right. But I don't really care because it's so picky. Okay. I'm going to grab the work that we did here. Sorry, everybody. Just look away. I've been in front of computer for far too long today. Later on, I'm going to just find the wording that we did um, on who is going to serve on this committee, and I will put it right in here, cut and paste, so it's clean. Um, if that works for everybody. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions? Mm -hmm. Any questions? I can't wait to Anybody see wants to ask me since you have me. Yeah, me too. I'm very excited. <laughs> It'll be exciting to share it. Uh, I do want to make it clear that this will be on the town website and the business improvement district website. Um, this will go out in our newsletters. Um, we will ask the Chamber of Commerce to share this as well. And I know for a fact that Rep. Dom and Senator Comerford will put these on their Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, and we will put it on all of our social medias as well. Um, this will be going out to local press um, as well as some art-centered press um, tomorrow yeah, morning. Um, Valley Arts newsletter. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Oh, I, I will also send this to um, the uh, Amherst um, parent organization of the public schools um, because I know that they have some alumni who. Thank you. They they have alumni who who might be interested yep. in this as well. Okay. I can do it to the schools, but I, they're not old enough. But the art teachers. No, I, are. I'm. I'm thinking art. The art teachers might have alumni that they think could. Right, be but really I can also give it to the art teachers. Oh, that would be fabulous. Great. Because yeah. I work in the school. Oh, did not know. Thank you. That's that's wonderful. Yeah. Yes. If you can get this out to the art teachers, that'll be fantastic. And I will make sure that it gets to um, the college and uh, the university art and faculty as well. Okay. Just send me a copy and I can print it out and give it to each one of them. I will. I'm assuming all of your emails are online, correct? On, on that town page. Hmm. I never, if not, if not, I'm sure Terry and Lori, I have both of your emails so I can find if you, you have, guys. And, if you have trouble getting an email, contact me, please, and I will help you. Okay. okay. I could actually easily, because like I know in my contacts, I've got everybody in there. I could send out an email just to like connect everybody. That'd okay. be great. Not, that would be lovely. Be better. Thank you. That would better be idea. Easy. Whoops. <laughs> Okay, anything else? Not on that agenda item, I don't think. We, we're done? Shall we move on to the next one? Mm -hmm. Thank you very much, that was wonderful. I, that, it's just so nice to see something so well done to, to work with. Thank you, Gabby. Yeah, thank, thank you, you very much. Yeah. And is everybody okay with me going and having dinner with my family? Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Idea. 
Have a wonderful hey. evening. Thank you all for having me. You too. Have a great day. Bye. Bye. Okay. The next item on our non-agenda agenda is strategic plan retreat planning. Um, actually, I have to go. Um, I've got another meeting at seven. Um, <clears throat> I just wanted to like. I don't, I don't know if warn you guys, but like remind you guys about like the urgency of that spending that money, that two thousand dollars portal gallery at portal gallery. So is that on the yep. Yep. Okay. Portal, portal gallery is the next one after. Yep. Yep. OK. OK. Yeah, like that definitely needs to get talked about. Now, who's, like, whose job is it to send that money? Well, the money is actually already in our account. So whose job is it to give the direction to send it? It would be, I guess, Robert, because he's the treasurer. Because like that $2,000 is already in our account. Okay, wait waiting minute, who's, the, spent. who's the treasurer? Robert. Oh, Robert, of course. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. All right. So we need to just give Robert a heads up, send money. Well, we well, send it well, where we, gotta, we have to we get have to an art to do with it. Yeah, we you got to get, get an artist. So yeah, that was going to be my next question. Where does it go? Yeah, <laughs> you got to get an artist to um, put the installation in. Right. So we need to get do another one of these things and get it out. Um, so we got we got, we're going to have to have a meeting, right? Yeah. Our I'll next see. meeting is on May first. I think well, we should have a special we meeting. Not one before this. that. Yeah, you're gonna have to have one before that because like that's just not enough time to if you guys you guys might be better off hiring an artist that that just you know you just hire somebody to come and put in something rather than a big call for artists because there's just not enough time for a call for artists right now anymore. So somebody who does dioramas or somebody who does small yeah, someone who does small things that could go in there. Yeah. Um, so I, I got a question. So inside the room, you could do photographs, right? That, that you could look through into the. Um, I suppose so. Like, yeah. It'd be a lighting issue. That's all. You have to solve the lighting issue. And I, I'm not saying it's not solvable. I'm saying, but if you look into from a lighted outside into a darkened room, it's not going to be very easy to see it. Right. I can think of various solutions. You could have like a tube that you could put your face on. So, you know, the light would like be a kaleidoscope. Yes. Like uh, you, you guys could hire that Ben guy to do another installation. The and guy yeah. who's, whose information is already up there. Yeah. That information. Out of, what's his name? Ben. Oh, what is his last name? I forget what his last name is. Like Cowden, I want to say. But we only have two thousand dollars to pay him, right? Right. But like he's got really dynamic um, little inventions that he made for inside there that was just really, really cool. Very like how much did we pay for the last one? I think we paid um a little bit less because I think we got only like fifteen hundred for that so he's so he he did it once for 1500 he'll be thrilled to do it for 2000 yeah <laughs> if he do, isn't doing something else correct so uh, maybe we should have another meeting with our whole board like yeah, in a week oh, okay. or so before yeah, spring good. break absolutely yeah we should have one next week yeah like next maybe we should send out an email to the board to have a meeting next Monday. Okay, who's going to send it? I, I can't be there. Oh, Oops. okay. But you could meet without me. I think if you can get everyone else, I just can't be there. We could, um, I can do a doodle poll, and and people can. It, that'd be good. In the next we, for the next two weeks. Uh, tomorrow morning, I'll send out a doodle poll. Or or I could join at six, but I would I don't know. It's going to be tricky. I have tickets to theater. That night at the Fine Arts Center. Hey, why don't we do? How about Tuesday? Can you do Tuesday? No. Um, I have to find out from um, Gigi if I have a board meeting. I think you should meet without me. 
I mean, I could come on, I could come on at six, but I'd have to leave by like 640. Well, how about Wednesday at six? I can do that. Lori, can you do it? Not great. My the, son, it's my son's first night home was flying in from Los Angeles. Oh, no, that stinks. Visit, Thursday, but I mean, Thursday. I could, I mean, I could do it. It's just not great. Thursday at six. What about that? I can do that. I mean, we put, put Wednesday down. I mean, he's going to be in town for a couple of days coming for my birthday, but I, so it's not, it's just not good next week for me, but I will, I could well, do. So you don't like either Wednesday or Thursday because he's I'm not a, crazy about it because he's not home. He's only home for a few days, all right, but well, I, can, I could do it. I mean, I could come on and I could, um, I could come on. I just can't stay on a long time. All right. What if we set it up for Wednesday at six and and I'll do a poll and see if we get a quorum. OK, and if we're going to get a quorum. Without you. If we, why don't you put Monday, too, because that could work for everyone and I could come on for like the first, you know. OK, so we're looking for the meeting because so at least so, it gives you two options that's on the 10th. Maybe possibly. Like Lori could just pop in long enough to do a vote. You know? That's what I was thinking. Right. So put but Monday in on. too. If we just do it for the portal gallery, just say that it's for the portal gallery, we've got to get this figured out, then it can be, we can do it for one hour. Right. I don't see why it's going to take an hour to do the portal gallery, but I'm always an optimist. Yeah. I mean, the following week is, is you know, I, I can do Monday the 17th. Oh. So I am going to check with other people and whether they can meet Monday the 10th or Wednesday the 10th to discuss well, and vote on the portal gallery only. Yeah. And wasn't Dara supposed to be on today? Yes. Yeah. She said she was. I emailed her. Okay. And I asked her. All right. Well, I got to go, everybody. Thanks for. Okay. Uh, hey, thank you for thank you for being here. Yeah. yeah thanks. That was good. It's very helpful as usual. So I take it strategic plan. We're not going to discuss because we can't. OK, mm -hmm. public porthole gallery. We just finished public comment. Ha ha ha. None items not anticipated before the meeting. There aren't any. So. OK, um, just I just wanted to say I'm sorry that my computer in the middle there glitched out. I all of a sudden lost my Wi-Fi. Well, um, if it's going to glitch out when it, when it, if it glitches out when we don't have a quorum anyway, yep. it doesn't really make much difference. I know, but I felt bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you're right. My computer. <laughs> I think your computer computer was very was very considerate to pick that time to glitch out. Thank you. Harmless error. I, I think if we could, I'm going back to the porthole thing just in advance of it. I, I don't love the idea of asking the artist who did it to do it again, but that may be our best bet given where we are. So okay. I would, you know. Well, his I, large information about him on a metal. Have you been there to look at the I've portal gallery? It. I don't understand it and I couldn't get never been in with the key to understand what's in that closet behind right. so i don't know what you're telling artists to work with or not work with right i but, think until we go there and the door is open and we understand what the yeah. whole place looks like we're not going to get it 100 percent. but to me it's like the only thing that would work with little types of dioramas mm -hmm. so you know that sort of thing would be really cool but we have we this don't have time, project. right? So given that this artist has done it, if he wanted to do it again, it, it's kind of pressing the easy button in terms of. So I still have my right. childhood Lionel train set, and for a thousand dollars, I'll set it up so it'll run in front of the portal windows. <laughs> I think that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, actually, it would. I'd actually do it for nothing. Well, <laughs> I could put train. I could put trains in, but. But I've got the vintage things. I've got not the new ones. From me, you know, I've got the old, old things. Like, because I'm old, old person. So, well, um, I have my brother-in-laws. Now, what are they? What are what's the old timer ones? Um, Lionel trains. Yep, whatever. The so, what you could put it behind each window. Yeah, I could oh, put yeah. one. Well, I could also put um all the different train information. So, uh, 
uh, Chessie, the Chessie system, the B and O, the oh my goodness, that my great really grand cool. And if you did it like for and going back to what trains ran through, you know, a little reference to what trains ran through Amherst. Ooh, uh, that would be so cool. It'd be a great. Yeah, that takes a lot of time to research. I do I know, know which ones did. There's there's a book that was given to the historical society that we um gave to the um, special collections that had the trains that did run through Amherst. Actually, there was two. Um, and the um, rabbit, ra ever heard of the rabbit run? So no. that one went through um, where the Quabbin is now. And it brought I mean, that would be really cool. I mean, I- What I, if I got you a, what if I got you a teenager to help you do the research? Um, I have, I've done the research at the historical society, but um, I, we don't, the, the space isn't big enough for the, that would take some time. <laughs> Cause you can but, have like a QR code linked to something on the Amherst town website that just had a description of the trains that ran through Amherst or a link to a few pages from that book. I don't know. I'm creating an art project for you and I don't. <laughs> So I, I don't have time for any of this. Well, so actually, I, I have can't seven that you do. Right. I have seven interns at um Amherst Historical Society that I work with on Fridays. So um I could put one to work doing it. Um I mean, I think I it would know. be really a great thing. I mean, I could because it relates to the town. Yeah. Right. Um the other thing is is there was the um that um Hills hat factory. Mm -hmm. which is um and we've got at the historical society that's the other place i work um we have all the hat molds and photographs of that so um if we wanted to do something like that i could get an intern to work on one of those projects so uh trains um is a little harder but they could do it all at special collections to do the research i'm not sure if there are enough photographs of the different trains that came through Amherst. I don't think you need to have photographs. Photo I think you could actually put a little diorama of your trains, Jim. Yep. Like a train in each window. Yeah, they're about this big. Yeah, a little diorama, a little, little trains in each window. And then the sidebar could be, they don't have to be the exact trains, you know. Right. These, you know, trains have a history in Amherst. Right. <laughs> They, they brought the palm know. leaf up and the and they took the hats down. So and it was one of the largest factories around. And it or, um, employed or photographs of people. the hats, I guess, or the factory. Yeah. I don't know. But anyway, right, right. there are some ideas. Yep. So huh. What happens when you get creative people together? Things happen. <laughs> That's great. All right. Well, all I think right. well, we Jim, are probably thank done. Thank you for all you're doing to put out like the two dates, and I will do my best to be oh, able to oh. vote. And um, Jim, you need to have the town understand that you haven't been here two consecutive. Um, yeah, no, Andrew said come. at the very beginning of the meeting that he'd been here for two consecutive times on the board, and you haven't, right? That is correct. I have not. Right, so that we need to make sure that um, that is that Mr. Brockelman knows that um, that is not correct. I don't know if he's just all upset because I made a mistake about you know whether I was a member or not for a while. So I just don't know what's going on with him. But so I'm, we'll have to figure that out in the next meeting too, right? I'll, I'll tell him tomorrow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. We, yeah. All right. Well, I guess we're done. There's no sense in me moving to adjourn because we can't vote on it. So I'm just... okay. Well, nice to see you. Good to nice see you both. Well. Thank you for showing up. <laughs> and happy birthday. <laughs> oh yes, I have a birthday coming, and I'm excited because I have two grown sons, and I don't get to see them very often. So I'm flying one from LA here. Oh wow! And the other, wow. And the other one's coming up from Philadelphia. He's in law school, oh, so I'm good. getting you know this little. That's why I'm trying to be protective. Well, I had yeah, one I two days ago. You what? I had one two days ago. Oh, oh happy, happy birthday. birthday. 
Yeah, hey, thank you. And I got to see some of my relatives. It was really nice. People I hadn't Good. seen. Because right. you didn't get to spend Christmas with anyone. Uh, right. Because neither did I. <laughs> right. Neither did I. <laughs> so, so we're all happy to see family. Yes. Okay. Yes. okay. Well, thank okay. you. Nice Take to care. see you. Barbara. And make sure you all go in the town hall and see uh, Stephanie Oates' um, uh, photography. It's I up. will go. So oh, I, yeah. I actually just talked to her last week and she told me about it. And I will. Um, she was very thankful to you, Mikey. And I will go take a look. It looks really beautiful. And I put I all the labels underneath. And if one of them looks off, you can peel it off the wall and put it back on. Okay. It doesn't, it doesn't hurt it. Okay. Great. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Bye. 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 -bye.